Hi everyone. Thanks so much for joining me on an episode of Soap Queen TV. My name is Anne Marie and I'm the CEO and founder of Brambleberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome melt and pour bee and honeycomb soaps. These soaps are made with the six cavity silicone bee and honeycomb mold from Brambleberry.com. Makes for easy release. And they're scented with pure honey fragrance oil, which smells just like sticky, sweet, warm, amazing honey. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to use saran wrap to package and give away or sell your soap creations. Sticking with the bee and the honey theme of this project, I'm using Honey Melt and Pour from Brambleberry.com. The honey gives this soap a beautiful golden hue. To get started, chop up a full 16 ounces of the honey melt and pour and just a few ounces of the white melt and pour base. Place two ounces of the honey melt and pour base into a glass heat safe container. Use just a little of the black oxide color block in this container before you start to melt it. You can either do that by chopping just a little bit off or using the scraper tool to make it even smaller. I'm using about an eighth to a sixteenth of the entire block in here. Melt this in the microwave on 15 to 30 second bursts. It doesn't take long. Now it's time to fill in the details of the bee. This gets a little tricky. So on hand, I want you to have an injector tool, a cleanup tool, 16 ounces of rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle, and a glass of extra hot, we're talking like hotter than tea, water. This is the injector tool from Brambleberry.com and the way it comes, it's got a very small opening. So I'm just going to cut just a teensy, teensy, teensy little bit off the end to make that opening just a little bit bigger. Before you get started, spray each cavity with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This helps the soap to disperse into each of the cavities and all the small details. Take your injector tool, draw up the black, use your hand to tilt the bees towards you. I notice when the little bee details are on an angle, they're much easier to keep the pieces of the bee head fully even and filled up. You'll see what I mean when you get started. Use the black soap and just fill in the little details. I'm going to fill in the little kind of bee head on each of these on an incline again. In between colors, make sure that you are also drawing that hot water up into the injector tool and just really cleaning it out so that little injector tip does not get clogged with, well, dried up soap. Once that little bee head has totally hardened, then you can place the entire mold down flat on the table and now gently and carefully fill in just a couple of those bee stripes. Just a little bit does it and don't you worry if you go over. I'm gonna show you how to clean that up in just a second. Now right here you can see I went over just a little bit on this little kind of area. Just take your cleanup tool and scrape it out gently. There. Comes out so easily, right? Any place that you've gone over, just take your cleanup tool and work around that. Now it's time to work on the yellow. Take three ounces of white melt and pour soap and the buttercup color block from Brambleberry.com. This is a really nice golden yellow. Place about one eighth to one fourth of this color block into your soap before melting it in the microwave. This is a very small amount of soap, so just melt this in 15 to 20 second increments and check it often. Once it comes out of the microwave, do a quick temperature check. If it's above about 135 to 140, it may melt the black part underneath on those details. So I really want you to check those temperatures because it's no fun to do all this detail work and then have all the details kind of morph together because they melted together. Before you get started, make sure that you've sprayed the entire cavity of your soap mold, including the black soap, with rubbing alcohol. Once the yellow soap is the right temperature, go ahead and fill up an entire injector tool. Now, the trick that I like to use is just dribbling the yellow soap down the side of the 
wings. Don't put it in the middle, do it down the side of the wings. You notice how there's a little bit of surface tension forming and so it's staying within those wings. It's really nice. Okay, there we go. Every single little yellow detail has been filled in. I don't see any areas to clean up, but if you do on your soap, this is the time that you wanna clean up those little areas. Take the remaining Honey Melt and Pour Soap and put it in a heat safe container. Now pull out your color blocks. You should have Shimmer Sparkle Gold Color Block from Brambleberry.com and Shimmer Copper Sparkle Color Block from Brambleberry.com. The usage rate is about a two to one ratio, meaning you're using about two times as much of the Shimmer Gold as you are the Shimmer Copper. This is kind of an eyeball thing, so I'm gonna use about a fourth of the Sparkle Gold Block and maybe just about an eighth of the Shimmer Copper Sparkle. I can always add more later. Take this and put it in the microwave and heat it on 30 second bursts. Make sure to stir once in the middle just to make sure this is all melting evenly. You'll probably melt this for about one minute and 20 seconds depending on the strength of your microwave. Add 0.3 ounces of pure honey fragrance oil to this and stir in really well. You wanna make sure this gets fully mixed in and you can't really see through your soap right now because it's opaque at this point. So stir really well. Now, check the temperature. What temperature are you at? If you are above 130, you are going to melt all the details of your little bee. So keep checking that temperature, be patient. You want your soap to be between 125 and 130 before you pour this remaining soap into your cavities. Last thing I need to do before pouring is take my spritz, my rubbing alcohol, and spritz a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto the cavity of the soap, and that helps my bees and my base adhere. Now pour the gold base into each cavity. I generally will pour on the non-bee portion of the mold. Allow the soap to fully cool and harden, preferably overnight. I don't like to put this particular recipe in the refrigerator because I notice when I do, the little bee hardens up faster and then it peels off the soap in the end. So don't put this one in the fridge. To remove your soap, gently peel away from the sides and then push down with your thumbs on the bee. The bee is the most important thing. You want that to come out. So just keep pushing down. See that? Mm, ooh, whoa, is that coming? Oh, good, perfect. Whew. Huh. Now we just have to do that five more times. I love using silicone molds for cold process and melt and pour soap because of the ease of release. Wasn't that awesome? They came out perfectly. Now, one last step to show you before I let you go. How do you wrap your soap and why do you wrap your soap? Well, a couple reasons. One, when you wrap your soap, it gives it a nice professional look, keeps the dust and dirt off of it, and most importantly, it protects your soap from glycerin dew. What's glycerin dew, you ask? Glycerin dew is when the Moisture in the air is attracted to the glycerin that's in your bar of soap and automatically choop, literally sits on top of your soap, kind of looks like dew drops, which is why it's called glycerin dew. One way to prevent it is to make sure you wrap your soap right away. It's pretty easy to wrap your soap. Just get some plastic wrap from the store, get a good old fashioned heat gun. These are typically used to strip paint or for um, rubber stamping and decoupaging. Try and get as close to the size of the bar as you need here, and then wrap tightly. And notice all the excess, I just like to snip it. Otherwise, when you put your label on the back, it could have a bump of plastic, so I just like to snip it to keep it clean. Then give this a quick little burst from the heat gun. See how nice and sticky that gets? Turn it over. Now, this is the key, just a very, very, very quick heat, 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 and barely over the top. If you do too much over the top, pop goes the plastic and you'll end up with holes in your plastic wrap and have to do the whole thing over again. But still, I love how professional this looks and I hope you do too. I'm gonna place a very cute label on the back of this for a finishing touch. Those labels are available for free download at brambleberry.com. So you can get really cute labels for free for this very project at brambleberry.com. I'm gonna link to that link for you down below in the description of this video. Thanks so much you guys for watching Soap Queen TV today and learning how to make these awesome bee and honeycomb melt and pour soaps. Until next time, happy soaping.